Are you just having a chill out? Ailey's eight years old. She has severe learning difficulties and various issues with her heart and digestion. But her condition is so rare that for most of her life, her family and doctors simply haven't known what's wrong with her. And without that official diagnosis, you can struggle to get the right help. With other conditions, we maybe go on to all these teams because that's the... We, we know, for example, for this particular condition that you need to see metabolic team and the gastric team and this team and that team, so you're all, you get all that set up straight away. Um, without, with an undiagnosed condition, it's kind of waiting to see what the problem might be first and then you go and see that team. But thanks to a groundbreaking project, scientists in Cambridge have finally been able to diagnose Ailey's condition. They found the one tiny glitch in her DNA that's causing all her problems. That's one misplaced part out of three billion in her body. The Developmental Disorders Project has now checked the genes of more than 13,500 children with unknown conditions. Step one of finding a cure is to understand what is really the underlying cause of the disease. Uh, and everything's critically dependent on that because from that point onwards, one can start narrowing in on the particular biology of that disease and what drugs might crucially be required to try and correct what's gone wrong in that particular cell type. Since they started eight years ago, the scientists have diagnosed more than 4,500 children and found 50 new disorders. And the key to their success is in this room. What these machines are doing is reading DNA but very, very quickly. So back in the year 2000, what it would have taken them four years to read, in this room they can read the same amount of DNA in six minutes. The genes that we've identified as causing developmental disorders are being used globally to diagnose patients. So, so the global population of families with developmental disorders has benefited from us coalescing all of our data within the UK. Show us how it's done. Not too much, just skip round Ailey in the way you usually do. Ailey's condition is called CAT 6A syndrome. Even knowing that name has helped Vela find other families going through the same thing. We did find a group that was set up in the States. Um, so we've managed to connect with some families overseas, but also um, have found there's about 10 families in the UK as well. So in the last two summers, we've managed to make, meet up with the, some of the other families. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.